Hello, my name is Jeremiah. I want to let people know that I was part of a compilation CD. One of my songs, I was, but one of my songs were on a, in a company in Connecticut, which is called Media Factory Records or Media Factory Television, where you'll see one of my compilation videos. You can probably get these CDs, videos through probably any internet in. In, it's an internet online store that you can get it, okay? And peace, people. I love you. All right. When you believe, you have to believe all the way. You can't believe part of the way. That's why when I do these different documentary shows, whatever you want to call them, performances, I give the audience a chance to understand not only one side but the other side. There's always good and bad in, in everything, or should I say every side, or in life. So learning that and kind of understanding the spiritual side can give you an in-depth look at understanding the reality of heaven and hell. When you think about it, a lot of people think there's always two sides. Usually they could always have one side to a story. Two sides huh, to a story. It's what you believe. If you feel that no one loves you with loneliness, then maybe that's the real deal. Maybe if you feel like you no one thinks about you, maybe it's true. Maybe if you think people talk about you, maybe it is true. Because how do you know what's true and what's not true, or what's real and what's not real? Think about it. Do you think just because you die, do you think you go anywhere? Or just because you're alive, does it mean that you have to believe in a spiritual being, in it, in a spiritual being that's higher, or is there a higher calling, or anything? It's always up to that individual to believe what he or she wants to believe, if what is true or what is not true. Only you can decide what is true and what is not. Okay, usually when I cut grass or I sweep or maybe uh, use different chemicals, I use a mask when I usually do that. So it kind of gives me a chance to make sure that even though I have sinus problems, that it doesn't get worse because of this mask. Okay, usually when I take a bath, I usually use some Epsom salt and some peroxide. Usually that's my uh, daily ritual for uh, taking a bath. And I know a lot of people have different, some people, sometimes I did at one time use those uh, bubble bath stuff like that, or uh, uh, should I say Sometimes I buy it's some it's it's a Vaseline, it's in a, a box, but it's crystallized. And you use it and it kind of smooths away. I say smooth away your skin, or should I say it makes your skin kind of smooth, like baby smooth, stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff I uh I use to take a bath. I used to use that plant soap, which is good. Because if you use plant soap, it's really good when you want to uh, really freshen up, take a bath or whatever. It is. Thanks. Okay, when it comes to global warming, the best light you can buy is what they call the energy savers or energy smart lights, which is pretty interesting. And I know it probably costs a lot, but it